Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a full face of Rare Beauty, but I wanted to focus on the new launch, which is the Stay Vulnerable collection. There's three products in the line. I'm pretty sure I have all three of them, unless I'm forgetting something. But one of them is the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush. Um, then there's the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm and the Stay Vulnerable Liquid Eyeshadow. And I got all three products in the same shade, which is the Nearly Apricot shade, because I just felt that was like the colors I, well, the color I like most. Like a, you know, a peachy kind of coral vibe, I guess. Um, and I thought it'd be nice for springtime too, so yeah. Um, I kept all the products in the packaging to show you, but um, because it's going to be a full face of Rare Beauty, I'm also going to revisit the products I bought when the brand first launched. So I have the primer. This is just the mini size. This is the illuminating primer. I have the foundation. I have the shade. 150C. Um, I've been using these two products a lot, the primer and the foundation, because they're in my Shop My Stash for this month, and I haven't been liking it. <laughs> but I don't want to give up because I don't like it at first, but then, well, I should say I actually love this primer, but the foundation is what I think I don't like. I don't like it when I first put it on. It looks really bad and like the pigment is like sitting in my pores kind of but then when it meshes more with like my natural oils i guess it it makes it look better i don't know it's very weird i mentioned it in my last video i don't know what to think but i'm just gonna keep trying it until i finally know okay no i don't like it um I also had the lip balm, but I'm not wearing it today because I have the shade Thankful and it's actually like a deep nude shade and it's very pigmented. So I didn't want to put this on when I'm going to be trying the new glossy lip balms because it's going to alter the color. But I just want to mention I do have this um, and in my opinion, these are lipsticks. I actually keep this with my lipsticks, so that's how I feel about that. Um, and I also, when the brand first launched, I got the Rare Beauty, obviously, Rare Beauty. What, are we, what were these? Matte Lip Creams. I have the shade Brave. Um, I really liked this. It's very like, it's what it says it is. It's a matte lip cream, so it doesn't dry down like a liquid lipstick. It's like a very nice, like blur, soft effect. And I also had the highlighter, which I haven't used. I don't think I've used since that video. So I want to use this today. And I'm going, just for like comparison, I also have the um, the blushes that she came out with originally. Fortunately, it doesn't say what the name of these were, but I'll leave it below. It was like these liquid kind of blushes that has doe foot applicator, and these were like super pigmented, and you have to be very like careful when you apply it. So just to show you, like these were the original blushes, but the new one is supposed to be very different. And I also got, for the holidays, I picked up the um, Magnetic Spirit palette, which I haven't used yet. It's an all shimmer palette, it looks like this. So I don't think I'm gonna use that today because I'm, I have the new liquid eyeshadow, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and for the concealer, I just have a sample. Um, I hope I can still use it and that it's not dried up <laughs> because uh, I don't like the concealer that I have now in my Shop My Stash anyway, so I want to use something different. I guess that's, yeah. So I'm just going to put the primer on. And last time I used this, I only used one pump because I found it was pretty good. This is what it looks like. 
but um, sometimes I use two. I guess it depends on how dry my skin is, so let's just see with one. And this is a really illuminating primer, like you can see it through foundation I find, even with just one pump. And I really like it, especially for my, for dry skin, it feels like a gel texture, but it does have some hydration to it. Like it doesn't just feel like, some like illuminating primers, you just feel like you wiped like something shiny on your face, but this actually feels like it does something for your skin too. So I really like it. And I also have to say, I love this packaging where like when you pump out the product, it's like an air, what do, you, what do they call these? Airless pumps? I don't know. Like it, the base moves up so you can see like how much product you've used. And I just, for me, it feels like you know you're going to use this whole thing up. I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, so that was a primer. So the foundation, you have to shake it. You can hear there's like a ball inside. Um, so this was called, apparently if you don't have the box for these products, you will never know what they were called. But <laughs> So you have to shake it really well because I don't know if you can see, like, see that red dot? If you don't shake it, like, the pigments don't mix together. So I did end up getting the Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. I believe that's what it's called. But I think I actually like this foundation better when I apply it with a sponge. But I do love this brush, just not with this kind of formula, I guess. And that's about all I apply, so I don't dip back in or anything. And I'll just blend it out. Also, this shade, I've come to realize I don't like the shade on me. It's like from, so it's 150C, so it means cool. But I feel like it's very, it's not that it's too pink. But it just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just very pale. And like, I look washed out, I guess, when I have it on. So I definitely have to bronze up my face after. And that's something this brand doesn't have. They haven't come out with bronzer yet. So that's probably gonna be their next launch because that's like all they're missing at this point. And I also, I don't have the setting spray because I just have too many setting sprays that sound like they do the same thing, so. But I did hear really good things about the setting spray. So that's with one layer, I guess. You can see it's very pale. Um, and I would say it's like a light to medium coverage. Like you can still see this blemish in this, this one. That's, that's a hive. <laughs> but I don't want to put any more on it because then I won't like how it looks, you know? So I'm going to try and use the concealer to cover the redness. Yeah, this looks like it's still good. I also have the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. So I'm just gonna dip into my little sample. I think this will be the last time I get to use this. Um, but I actually don't, I don't, I should watch that, the first video I did again, cause I don't remember if I liked this or not. I feel like I didn't like it at first, but then I liked it after, like the same with the, foundation so yeah so all that came from just like dipping one time so I feel like it goes a long way and the concealer is the shade 160C so it's definitely a different shade so the thing with these with the foundation 
and the concealer is it was made so that you would get the same number in the foundation and the concealer because the concealers were made more like with a brightening effect um, so technically I should also have the concealer in 150c but this was like like a packet of I think there was three samples so this was the closest one and I didn't want to buy another concealer I do really like this brush um, but I think I'll have to go over it with a sponge because it's definitely not the same shade okay for now it looks pretty all right it's kind of like illuminating and I feel like it accentuates like the puffiness <laughs> under my eyes but the actual foundation today looks kind of okay I mean if I look really up close it's kind of sitting in like some dry patches on my nose and like up here and that's what usually happens to me when I use serum foundations so but then like I said before they end up like settling into my skin and they end up looking better so it's really hard to, for me to decide if I should keep this foundation or not I mean you can still see I feel like you can see discoloration um, under my eyes but I don't think putting more concealer on will help let's just just going to take a little because I don't I also don't like to pack on tons of product under my eyes because when I smile it like pushes up my wrinkles <laughs> and then product gets stuck or like creases you know what I mean okay I'm gonna just stop fiddling with that before I do anything else I'm not gonna put any powder products on my face because everything else is a cream product so I'm going to go in with the blush so this is what the box looks like same as her other packaging here's the component which I love I showed this already in my last haul video but um yeah I just love how this feels like in your hand it's just so cute and nice <laughs> and it actually has a magnetic closure and that's what it looks like so there's a mirror inside and the blush is just here um sitting in the component so, you know what I should do? I don't really know how they say to apply this, so I'm just going to read up on that. Let me see if it says on the box. It just says, um, this breakthrough formula delivers a weightless wash of soft focus color that melts upon contact for a second skin finish. So it doesn't say how to apply it, so let me check on Sephora. <laughs> so by the way, um, this is $27 Canadian and there is five shades which all look really nice but like I said this one just fits more fits my vibe more around this time of year <laughs> I don't know so what does this say use a dense brush or your fingertips to dab onto the apples of your cheeks and blend apply more layers as desired a dense brush okay I thought more I would I would use like a stippling brush for this kind of thing but let me do what it says just to be safe you know this is a dense brush the foundation brush but do I want to get blush on this not really <laughs> hmm. I think this might be a good option this is also a, a brush I use for foundation but not very often so I don't mind getting blush on it it's a Real Techniques ultimate buffing brush so I like it because it's like rounded on the edges so you can really do this motion and it doesn't like just move product around on your face so let's try it with this 
I'm scared to ruin it. It looks so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna go one time. Okay, no, that didn't do anything. Okay, you, you really have to stab this product to get it to come off. So I'm just gonna go in with that much. And I'm not as scared as I was with this blush because from what I've seen in other people's videos, this is definitely not as pigmented as the first blushes she came out with. Okay. Oh, I also didn't mention I'm going to be doing a wear test just for like a few hours though because I actually have to be somewhere later. <laughs> but um, because I heard that this, that I forget who said it. I think it might have been Mel Thompson who said that this like basically just wore off really quickly. So I want to see if that's true for me because I do find with cream products, they wear off on me because my skin is so dry that they just, it like eats the product. So yeah, let's just see how this wears. I really like the shade of it. And yeah, it's definitely blending out super easy almost like too easy like i blended a lot of it away <laughs> um so let me just do the other cheek and then i'll see if i want to put more product well i definitely put more <laughs> on this side but that's okay because you can just blend it. It doesn't um, stick down, you know? No, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> I do agree with what it said, a second skin finish, because it, it looks like it's one with the foundation. Like it, you know when you put a powder blush on, you can sometimes see like you have a powder on your face, but this is blending really nicely. So that's the color, which was nearly apricot. I like it. Yeah, maybe I brought it down too far because this brush is kind of big for blush, but yeah, I really like that. And I feel like it has a bit of a glow too. Okay, so that's what it looks like after I put my brush in it. So it didn't get <laughs> disturbed too badly. But yeah, I did find I had to like stab it instead of, you know, I thought I could swipe it, but uh, yeah, no. So let's do the eyeshadow next. Still don't want to put any powder anywhere because I don't want to mess with anything. So this product says, uh, a waterproof liquid to powder eyeshadow that delivers effortless blending and smooth crease resistant color. That sounds good. This was the box, if you want. And this is the packaging. So it's the same color as the little blush compact and the same like style of packaging as the lip balm in case you were wondering, like it's flat on one end. I'm a little scared about this because I don't have any experience with like matte liquid eyeshadows so I don't really know how to proceed and I do want to read what it says on Sephora again. So there's also five shades of the eyeshadow and it's $26 and it's the same shades as the blush. So how to use it says, apply directly onto the base of your lid and blend out using your finger or the Stay Vulnerable All Over Eyeshadow Brush. I didn't get that because I didn't, found, I didn't find it looked special, like there was nothing unique about it. It just looked like a fluffy blending brush, so I didn't get the brush. Um, so it says, for a soft wash of color, start by applying one dot using the applicator, then build as desired. 
For instant payoff, use the flat edge of the applicator to sweep on color and blend. Wear each shade alone or layer. For extra dimension, top your look with your favorite shimmering shadows. Okay, so I'm gonna do what it said to apply, start by applying one dot using the applicator, then build. Because I don't necessarily want like a full apricot eye. <laughs> I want this to be more like a soft look, so let's do that. So I did just wipe off a bit of the product just to be, see? So I applied one dot, <laughs> and then I'm going to use just like a fluffy brush, I think. This brush might be too soft, but I'll try. It's from Royal and Langnickel, the Moda Pro line. It's called BMX 466 Shade. So, let's see. Oh, and um, it transferred, so I have product up here now. <laughs> okay, that's very soft, so I can definitely put more. So it is very easy to blend, but I do want some more. So here's what it looks like. I did, I do think you could have just went in with all the product that was on the applicator because it's very, like, not sheer, but it just blends out very easily. So you don't have to worry about it sticking down or anything. I do like the color of this. Okay, let me do the other eye and see if I want to put more. Yeah, it kind of looks like scary at first, but it, because it blends so easily, it's just super simple to do. Here you can see I applied a lot more product. Uh, so you can definitely build the color. So now I have to go back and even out this one. It's not sticky or tacky. So it's like it said, it's um, a cream to powder formula. I just want to take a bigger fluffy brush with no product and just go along here and I didn't put any primer on or anything and I don't really like to put concealer on my lids either so this is just like bare bare lid yeah I like it I wouldn't normally reach for like a liquid eyeshadow but it is like a nice one one and done kind of look um and if you just want to do like a nice monochromatic look it's a very like simple product to just stick on and blend out super quick so yeah hmm. i like it i kind of do want to see though <laughs> i always do this i'm like i'm gonna do a super simple look and then i make like glitter or smoky eye but i kind of do want to just put a little something um and kind of i'm curious like what happens if you put a powder shadow over this so i'm just going to take a bit from the magnetic spirit palette this shade here which is kind of like the same kind of family it's called Ignite, if I'm reading this correctly, <laughs> um, just with my finger, I just want to put some like in the middle, oh that is pretty. There's also this shade which is called Power, I think. Just wanted to 
get some brightness there. But I think I'm gonna leave the lower lash bare. So for the highlighter, I have the shade Mesmerize. It's called Liquid Luminizer, actually. And it's another doe foot, the same as the um, original blush. And I remember I didn't love this. So I'm gonna put um, a few dots on and then I'm gonna use this e.l.f. small stipple brush to blend it out. Cause I don't remember if I liked it with my finger. Okay, this brush is working very well. Maybe need a bit more on this side. Okay, not bad. <laughs> that might have been a lot. I feel like that looks nice on camera, but if I look at it up close, it didn't, it's like it didn't mesh well with the foundation, which is weird because it's the same line. So I'll have to keep testing that out. Um, it might need, it might be better with your fingers because it might need like the warmth to really blend it in, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not liking a lot of highlighters recently. It's like they won't, they don't stick to my skin. They just look like they're sitting there. So anyway, so I'll do my brows and mascara and everything off camera. I don't have anything Rare Beauty for those categories. And then we'll come back to test the glossy lip balm. So I just did my brows and mascara and I used my Milani Make It Dewy setting spray um, because <laughs> I don't know if you could see this, but my forehead looks horrendous. Um, yeah, you can see here that the product is just like gathering in some dry flakes. But the weird thing is I felt like my skin wasn't flaky before I put the makeup on. So I don't, again, I don't know what it is. Um, and the same on my nose. It's just really flaky. Oh dear. So yeah, I don't think I would tell someone to go out and buy the Rare Beauty Foundation because I just, I don't know. It's not, I feel like there's so many other foundations that are better. Um, but I do really like how the blush looks. The concealer is not bad. It's not creasing. Definitely not as much as my um, Makeup Forever Velvet, Matte Velvet, whatever. That one I cannot use under my eyes, but yeah, I really like the eyeshadow. So let's just do the lip, what is this? Glossy Lip Balm. So it says, a luxurious hydrating lip gloss that delivers high shine color with the cushiony feel of a balm. Okay, so it's really, it's a lip gloss, but they're just calling it a balm because it has like, the cushiony feel of a balm. So let's just try this out. Oh, this is the... <laughs> packaging by the way same flat side I really like this color let me see next to the blush yeah it's the same I was just thinking this looked a bit more pink but I don't think so Ooh, I love this applicator it's very pointy so you well like you won't get it everywhere which I like I don't think it smells like anything Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I see exactly what they mean by glossy lip balm. It honestly feels like a lip balm, but more liquidy. And I love this applicator. 
Yeah, so it's definitely more sheer than the color in the tube, which I don't mind. So that being said, I don't think you need like all the shades of this because they kind of all looked not too different from each other. Let me look again. Yeah, so here's like the swatches. I mean, I guess they do look different, but obviously the swatch is like a ton of product built up. But like they're all kind of in the same, I don't know, the same like soft pink kind of vibe except for nearly neutral which looks like more like a brown but yeah it feels really nice I'll see how it wears um I don't know if it's something that will last very long because it is so glossy but yeah we'll do like a, a short wear test just for like a few hours <laughs> oh my god my hair so getting way too long. I'll be back. I don't know when. What time is it? I should know. Okay, so it's 11.35 right now. So, I don't know. Maybe, like, I'll be back before 4. Let's just say that. So, see you then. Hey guys, so I'm just checking in. Um, it's been 4 hours. And I think the blush looks good it's still on my face so that's good um also the eyeshadow looks the same <laughs> um i did put the shimmer shade on top so that's like the shine that you're seeing but it doesn't appear to have creased or faded or anything so yeah um oh and the lip product obviously came off because i was drinking coffee and i had lunch so um but i will say like my lips feel like they had a lip balm on them like they f they don't feel super dry or anything so yeah um i would say it's a success so yeah i'm just looking at the rest of my face um i don't know like the foundation looks okay i guess i don't know i just have dry skin it's hard to figure it out so anyway um uh, that's it for this video if you liked it give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye